What's up guys, it's Neil and you're very welcome back to another episode from my garage. This week I have been working on the one via and I've been getting some of the bits and pieces that I showed you last week fitted up to the car and yeah, <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Uh, so I have in place just uh, it's all temporary just so I can start making up brackets and stuff but the BN sports kit is on. And it looks awesome. <laughs> it's so wide and fat and just such a departure, so, so different from last year. Um, what I'm doing is I have everything sitting in place there now. So I need to start making up uh, brackets to secure this kind of area and behind the wheel. Speaking of wheel, we have the XXRs sitting in place. Uh, obviously sitting very high because the engine's not in it yet. But yeah. I can see what this car is going to be like when it's done and I've uh, been looking at some renders of the new sticker pack and stuff like that, the new livery and it's going to be pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do now is start making up some of these brackets, get this thing fitted into place properly and start to strip it and get it ready for paint then. So I've been working on the kit, getting it to fit properly. Uh, driver's side was very much um, warped and twisted and kind of sticking up over there so i've been working on that getting that uh, lined up as much as i can uh, on the pasture side here it was pretty good so what i did was i just took a stay off of there's a cross brace there that goes across the the front of the engine so out of that i was able to fit some quarter inch tube and some half inch tube then up to a bracket up there so that was able to lock this side in place and once i knew i was happy with that i was able to replicate it on the driver's side so that the two of them are pretty evenly matched uh, side to side uh, you can see i've got a ratchet strap holding the bumper over and a few bits and pieces that's just to get the alignment as good as i can it's still not perfect but it's never going to be really with a drift car especially with a kit that has been used before it's got a couple of uh, dings and bashes so as far as i'm concerned it's fine anyway so my next job is to make up the bash bar so i'm going to start bending up the bar that goes behind the bumper and get that into place and start making up stays for it so that's my my next project so first thing i want to do is just get the center of this so i can start marking up where i'm going to put my bends for the bash bar so if i know So what I've done, I've marked the center on the bumper so that I've got the center point there to, for reference all the time. And I've got the center of the tube that I'm using. So if I just line up the two of them, the fourth bend is going to be around about there. And I'm going to measure the distance from the center line, put the same point mark on the other side, and just a small bend each side and then I'm going to continue that bend all around to match the shape of the bumper. So that's my two marks marked up there now, there and there, that's my, still my center line. And I've just struck a line along the top there just with another pipe, just so I get it straight along the top of the pipe. So I've got a reference point for every bend that I put in it. Just stops the, the pipe getting twisted in relation to each bend. Uh, they're all bending along the same line, if you like. So I'm going to pop it into my benders here, and I'm going to line the mark up with the center point here and I'm going to mark the line the top line up with the top of the form so I just stick this down and pull it in to where it's just uh, starting to bend okay so it's nice and, and tight there and I'm just going to make sure that it's still in the center which it isn't center and then line to the top okay so that's ready to bend now these bends are just going to be a small bend at a time so I'll give it one two three and then I'll do the same the other side right so I've the two first bends done so I'm just going to line this back up with the center mark and I find that 
from the land, somewhere about here is where my next get bend is going to be. So I'm just going to mark that the same, uh, measure off the centre line again to get the mark on the other side, and just continue on like that to get it bending around uh, the bumper. That's now bent all the way along and uh, against the bumper it looks okay. So the next job is I want to fit it into the bumper and just make sure it fits in there. And if that's good, I can start building the rest of the support for the bumper bar. So that fits pretty good. Uh, just going to lock it into place and start building up. Okay, so with that bent up, it's fitting in there pretty good. I have it just held in with a couple of um, clamps. So next job is I'm going to make up the support. So it's going to come off of the, the end here. Uh, you can see I had it before where there's just a, a bolt or a quick release through it. So I'm just going to bring out a bit of quarter off that and take up some legs up to the uh, bumper support. And that's going to get that fitted up and held into place. So there you can see I've got the bar coming out of the chassis, the pin, it's drilled there and the pin is holding it into place. And I've got a half inch going up that's attaching to that bumper or the bash bar. So that's all kind of just tack welded into place. Next step is a bit of half inch that goes down to the bottom and it just protects the lip of the front bumper. I've the bash bar just about done there now. I, I've got the second last bar in and that you can't really see it but it goes in behind there and just supports the bottom of the bumper so that's in the top bar is in the last bar that i have just after making it just goes in here and the idea is to, to hold this section up so i'm just going to get the bonnet down get this into position and uh, tack this and then that bash bar is complete after that then i'm going to make up some supports just to catch the wings here so it's up that time, I have the bumper all hanging in place, the wing is mounted in there and I've got a mount in there and I've also managed to incorporate side skirt with it as well. So that side skirt is, well it's not bolted in but it's held in there along and on the other side I had the side skirt mounted but I discovered that I needed to mount the wing or the, the rear quarter properly first. So on the other side I had the side skirt in, so I was get, able to get this into its correct position. So I just have a couple of um, rivets in a temporary little bracket in there. And what I'm doing at the moment is I'm making up a bracket for in the boot so that it's going to attach to that. So another little update for you guys. I have the rear quarters now mounted into place and just the barest amount of space for the wheels to clear but they do clear uh it might be a little bit of rubbing at the start until we get a couple of runs in it and just make its own bit of space but it, it it's okay um i've the boot just mounted up i had to do a little bit of repairing on the boot the wing was uh, destroyed and all that corner so i have it reasonably straightened out a little bit of body filler should finish that off and i don't know if you're going to see it but in there i've mounted another uh support just to catch the rear quarters so they're good and solid there and just have that clamp for the moment i'm going to have to put another couple of supports in there but next job is the boot door um, i'm cutting that steel part in there that was supporting the boot door before so i'm going to make up some stands that the boot door is going to clamp to at the moment it's just literally sitting on a hammer i did a thing that used to be there <laughs> so you can see there i have all the bodywork taken off the back there now the car is now compact um what i have in there i've just little uh, support bars they're in there and they're just welded in inside there that's a little bit further over than i wanted but anyway the way angles worked out but uh, that's brought down and it's brought down to where the um support for the boot door is uh, they're just tacked into place at the moment so they just need to be finished welded finished welded there and there a few little bits of welding cleaning up on these little tabs for the quarters but once i get that done 
I'm just going to get some holes drilled in this for pop reviting so that the quarter can be pop reviting there. This is kind of far enough away that it shouldn't really be affected in a crash unless it go very deep into a wall. Um, but once I get those drilled and, and all welded, everything welded into place, then the rear quarters can go on for the final time and they're in place. Um, just to show you what I did with the boot door structure or the boot door supports, they're poly bushings, they're drift force poly bushings. So I've got a, a little um, kind of plug welded in there, drilled out, ready for tapping. So I'm going to tap that down. I uh, just tacked a washer into place as well, just to support that. And you can see it just drilled out the center of that so it fits down nice and snug over, uh, over it. Um, once I have that tapped, that's going to be tapped for the uh, bonnet pins. So the bonnet pins will stick up and then I can put a pin in the boot and that's going to hold that in place there. And there's one obviously there, was there before. So boot will all be good. Rear quarters will all be good. Last thing that's going to go in here then is just little support coming off that to the one piece tail light setup. I haven't ran tail lights in years because uh, I have a habit of breaking them. Okay guys, final update for this video, but definitely worth it. The body kit is now fitted. And looking amazing, I have to say, even before it gets uh, all the one color. But yeah, wow. Fit and fitment is pretty good. Certainly uh, good drift car quality anyway. Uh, really happy with how the car sits. So the front is sitting a little bit high at the moment, but that will come down when the engine goes in there. Rear sitting pretty much perfect. Just a little bit of tire tuck in at the back. Uh, doing a little bit of uh, work on it, getting rid of the fuel filler flap out of there. Just going to mold that in. Uh, wing, again, not decided as yet. Maybe a 326 power wing or a big uh, wing on the back there. But wow, am I happy to have it that far? As of right now, we've got three weeks before round one, so I have to get this thing repaired. Any other repairs needs to be done. I have to get it sanded and painted, and I have to get it across the MDT so we can get the engine refitted, mapped, tuned, all the rest of it. So I'm going to have a busy few weeks. I don't know if I'm going to get to talk to you next week. Uh, I will be quite busy with that, but I will see you before round one. Hopefully I get to see you at round one, and uh, you can check out the car in person. Get a look around it and see what you think yourselves. So thanks very much for tuning in. We'll talk to you very, very soon. Cheers.